So we did a top five e-notes of 2021, but a lot of you guys are asking, what about everything else? A lot has come out this year. You are correct. Originally, we did have a plan to do a top 10, but we felt we didn't really need to because we're keeping the trend going of the top fives. But you guys asked, and we have heard you. Today, we're gonna be going over spots 10 through six of the top 10 e-notes of 2021. Coming in last place at number 10, the Bigme B1 Pro. The beauty of this unit is that it was and currently is the only large screen color e-reader available. There is no other. This is the 10.3 inch color Kaleido B1 Pro note taker. It is unusable outside of China and all services and apps basically can't be accessed. However, it did come with its own stylus. It was quite interesting. It had clip art, it's very fast, and it came with its own full color palette of a ton of different colors. Unfortunately, it was hard to order and it was $1,200. An honorable mention on our previous video lands at number 9 on our top 10 list, the iReader XS Pro 8 inch. It has an amazing build quality, it was very handheld with a great screen size. It had super low latency Wacom screen, quad core 2 gigs of RAM HD screen and 300 PPI. It also had dual microphones and 28 LEDs. Unfortunately it's $560 US and it doesn't even come with a pen. Number 8, The Remarkable 2, one of the best writing experiences in the industry and a very good build quality. It has a nice selection of pens and nibs and some nice covers to go along with it. This device has no features, no apps, no audios, no speaker, no SD card, not even a glow light. They've also migrated over to a paid subscription service that is mandatory unless you don't want to use the device for anything else but just taking notes. Sharing services and even handwriting recognition now requires you to pay a monthly fee on your credit card to even use it. It was once top of the charts but how the mighty have fallen. $450 US. Number 7, the Quirk Logic Paper, coming in at one of the few 13.3s out there. It had a good writing experience, but it's using the proprietary Sony pen with no Wacom. You have to plug it in to charge it, the nibs wear down really fast. It did have an interesting UI, it was very innovative, and it was catered more towards education and workflow focus. It's also a Canadian company. This comes in at $600. Number 6, the Boyu P10W. Very well built and it comes with Google Play. In fact, it's the only note taking manufacturer that has official Google Play on it. The unit is exactly the same as the P10 in every conceivable way. In fact, went backwards a little bit by alienating their own active capacitive pen. Because of the Wacom support, you can use all the pens in the industry, Mitsubishi, Stadler, Lamy, etc. Their own pen is now rendered a little bit obsolete as it doesn't function on the unit anymore. But it is one of the best bargains out there at $340. Spots 5 through 1 can be found on the video on the video card up above. The Kobo Ellipsa, very, very unique e-note experience and a very weird play by Kobo to release such a unit. The Nova 3 Color by Onyx, fantastic, probably the best 7.8 inch on the market that is running color and it has Google Play on it. Supernote A5X, amazing writing feel with its factory gel screen protector and the best pen selection in the industry. Fujitsu Quaderno A4, second generation, hands down the best writing feel out of any device, especially coming from a company with an 86 year track record. The second gen is also Wacom enabled and it is a 13.3 for $780. Number one, the Lumi 2, the absolute pinnacle of e-paper devices, fully loaded, audio, 128 gig storage. There is no better pound for pound specs on paper. If you guys agree with our full top 10 list if you don't agree with our list we want to hear it down below for a top 10 e-notes of 2021 extended edition this is peter